be able to see the launch fine from here. I'll be back later. See you, Mike. Wow, when my science professor heard I was going to watch the launch from the main control room, was he envious? And, oh, I'll pay you back for the fare, Aunt May. B, Peter's getting credit for a science field trip, thanks to you and your nephew, Michael. Behind me is Dr. Emil Zoltan, the man responsible for putting Dr. Doom's laser cannon on the space platform being launched here today. Dr. Zoltan, perhaps you'd like to tell us why you're sending Dr. Doom's cannon into space. Oh, the my way. Lift off in eight minutes. Fuel lines connected. Uh, Roger. Hey, not yet. Too late. The fuel hose is cut. Liquid nitrogen. It'll freeze steel so it's brittle as glass. Let's move. We're stuck. And I think the cable's start to break. What's going on? Uh-oh. That elevator's jammed. Where's the emergency crew? Get somebody up there. They need help, and fast. Rescue team, to the elevator, on the double. It won't hold. It can't. We've had it. We'll never get to him in time. But your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man will. I never forget my mittens. Nothing can save us now. Except a miracle. Going down. We've cut off the fuel. It'll only take a few minutes to replace the line. The launch will take place. Countdown continues, thanks to Spider-Man. What a strange twist of fate. Because of the web slinger, my countdown's continuing as well. I must remember to thank him. Treachery couldn't stop me, my old friend. Have the prisoner brought to my chambers immediately. All right, they're gone. When we rebuilt this wing of the castle, we found this passageway. No matter where it leads, it has to be better than here. You show us the way, Johan. Have a go. Lift off in ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. You wish to see me, Master? Yes. Come, look. Today, my life's dream comes true. We lost control! I've picked up a mysterious tracking beam from somewhere in Europe. Never a dull moment. Something seems to have gone wrong. Yes, let's ask Peter. Peter? Now, where did that boy go? Oh, dear. Quick, the auxiliary tracking computer. The auxiliary tracking computer's dead. What? Final separation in five seconds. 
Separation complete. The platform is in orbit. But it's out of our control. Michael, dear, the, I think there's something you should know about that Dr. Zoltan. I saw him... Uh, please, Mrs. Parker, not right now. But Michael... Oh, dear. Finally, Boris. Finally, the world will know what true leadership is. My leadership. Master, how will taking control of the space platform... Silence! The Pacific Ring of Fire, the largest volcanoes on Earth. In seconds, it will be exactly 12 noon. And when my laser cannon causes those volcanoes to erupt all at the same time, the Earth will be launched out of its orbit. And only I can bring it back. It's the ultimate blackmail. The final countdown for Spaceship Earth. Five, four, three, two, one. Find out what's hey. What was that? What happened? An earthquake? The bomb? controls the space platform comes from Latveria. Who else but that tin-headed maniac? Can we get back into the proper orbit? Or has Doom really pushed the final button? Dr. Lee, take a look, gentlemen. The Earth, the Sun. This mountain here represents the volcanoes which Dr. Doom caused to erupt. By making the volcanoes erupt simultaneously when they are pointing at the Sun, the Earth moves away. But make the volcanoes erupt again when they are facing away from the sun, and the Earth should move back where it belongs. But only Dr. Doom can make the volcanoes erupt. There goes my spider sense. The computer card. What are you doing? Spider-Man, I'll show you. Dr. Zoltan, what is the meaning of this? It means the good doctor here is an agent of Dr. Doom. What? Yes, and proud of it. The only hope for the world lies in his leadership. Then will you fools learn? to fire the volcanoes at exactly midnight European time. Or we could blast the Earth even farther off course and... And that would be that. Ah, here's the French ambassador. Ah, the amazing Spider-Man. What can we do to help? 
Uh, they told me your jet was leaving for France immediately. I'd like to hitch a ride as far as Latveria. Oh, mais oui. But uh, you must show me how you squirt out your web uh, from those little things, yes? Mais oui. What do any of you know of order? You, sir, are a madman! Silence! Look around you. The world is filled with wars, with hunger, with violence and petty greed. You have done nothing to change that. I offer the world a better way. I offer strength, leadership. I offer world peace, world order. I offer what you claim to want, all of you, a more secure and a happier world. But you've just destroyed the world. Earthquakes, tidal waves. Look again. Everything was foreseen, planned to the millimeter. Destruction will only occur in uninhabited areas of the world. Thanks to my genius and my planning, not one human being will be harmed by this demonstration of my power. You have eight hours to make your decision. Declare me, Dr. Doom, ruler of the world, or the Earth will freeze. Uh, the subject is now open for discussion. As world temperatures continue to fall, the UN works feverishly to find a solution. So far, they have met with total failure. And at this moment, Latveria is surrounded with a radar blanket. Not even an insect could cross the border without being detected by Dr. Doom. All France salutes you, Spider-Man. Ah, there is Latveria. But if we attempt a landing, Doom would shoot us down. I'll get there, Mr. Ambassador. I'm not exactly sure how, but... Sector 8, near the river. Every available soldier into that area. When real spiders do this, it's called ballooning. Hope it throws them off. Oh no! Well, I've got to make use of that river. Sounds like Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls?! The last time I was here, the underground had a secret door in this cliff. Ah! Hope it's still a secret. Delegates, delegates, please! It has been decided. We have no choice but to turn the world's leadership over to Dr. Doom. The United Nations declares you, Dr. Doom, master of the world. I accept the designation. My friend, I have prepared well for this day. I have placed replicas of myself in every country of the world. Waiting for this signal to take control of the world's governments. Governments. You will obey me as your new leader, 
I declare the United Nations immediately and forever disbanded. Leave! All of you. I object! This is an outrage! The people will not... The people? The people will do what Dr. Doom tells them to do. I wanted you to see what you gave up when you betrayed me. I wanted you to see me taste this sweetest nectar of total victory. And now you may return to your cell for the rest of your life. No, my old master. A robot? Hmm. It seems, Boris, I taught you too well. Wait, someone's there. You know, with a few more candles and a violin, you could do a nice weekend business. I don't believe it. The answer to our prayers. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I would. Come on, we're moving out. Can I play soldier too? I Tin Ed. The wall crawler. Haven't you heard? The world is mine. Officially. If I can set up those volcanoes precisely at midnight, you'll be a loser. Officially. Now, which one controls the laser cannon? The large laser. Naturally, what else? Thanks. Oh, I hate goodbyes. You're done for, Spider-Man. You've no place to run. That's okay, Rustpot. I'm beginning to like it here. You miserable man. What? No. Oh.
Some days it feels good being your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man.